against. All was well in the River State House of Assembly until October the 30th, 2023, when fire engulfed its hallowed chambers, destroying the properties there. What was thought to be a public emergency degenerated by the next morning into a political crisis with some members of the House led by Martins Amehule accusing some others led by Edson Ehie of being culpable of the inferno. In a swift turn of events, two groups effectively emerged from the House with Martins Amehule and Edson Ehie heading each group and announcing each other's suspension. As the new speaker of the 10th River State House of Assembly, I will not betray Rivers people, I will not betray my constituents. The Amehule group, believed to be loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesun Wike, immediately began impeachment proceedings against Governor Similari Pobara. Mr. Speaker, the said most, the reason for this motion is for inefficiency and ineffectiveness. Mr. Speaker, I so move. The governor's attempt to visit the assembly complex in his words to inspect the level of damage caused by the fire was initially met with stiff resistance by men of the Nigerian police force, raising concerns about their disposition in the matter. I'm calling on the security agencies. From what I've seen, the security is even compromised. Yeah, exactly. They were shooting at me. They were shooting at me. This operation was shooting at me directly. Despite the intervention by the president and some elders, the political atmosphere in the state has remained tense with supporters and sometimes the main actors still talking tough. Those who fought you. When you are struggling for the person to be in the office, nobody does that. I'm not a political ingrate. I'm not. But don't touch the political structure of the The fight is also dragged to the corridors of the judiciary, with the Edison's group accusing the Amehule's group of contempt of court for continuing to convene plenary in the fines of a state high court order. The Amehule group is, however, bragging of a federal high court order which permits them to sit. The high point of the crisis, however, came today, December 11th, when the Amehule led assembly members, set to be 27 in number, defected from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress. The reason for the defection by the 27 members of this House are purely in line with the provisions of the 1999 Constitution as altered, specifically Section uh, 109. And the condition for the defection is division in the party. And there is clearly division in the People's Democratic Party. While a strong opposition is said to be a good element in democracy, the case in Rivers may be a dose for more political tension, judging by the latest turn of events.